Welcome to Holistic Wellness 24-7. In today's video, we're looking at alcohol myths, debunking five common misconceptions, 2024. In this video, we'll explore that most of what we think we know about alcohol is just plain wrong. In this video, we'll expose the truth behind the top five alcohol myths of 2024 and empower you to make smarter choices. By the end, you'll have a clear, simple roadmap to improve your well-being step by step. My videos focus on the how-to of expanding your lifespan and more importantly, your health span, how you can now transform your life. So let's get started. You've probably heard it all, beer before liquor, never sicker, or red wine is good for your heart. But what if I told you that most of what we think we know about alcohol is just plain wrong? In this video, we'll expose the truth behind the top five alcohol myths of 2024 and empower you to make smarter choices. We're bombarded with information and misinformation about almost everything these days, and alcohol is no exception. These myths can be harmful, leading to risky drinking habits and potentially impacting your health. It's time to separate fact from fiction. We're going to break down those persistent alcohol myths you've heard at parties, from friends, or maybe even believed yourself. Get ready to ditch the misinformation and embrace the facts so you can make the best decisions for your well-being. Let's talk about the first myth. Beer is better for you than liquor. Now, you might have heard this one before and it, it might sound logical at first. After all, beer generally has a lower alcohol content compared to hard liquor, right? But here's the catch. It's not about the type of alcohol you drink, but the amount of alcohol you consume. That's the key takeaway here. Think about it this way. A standard drink of beer, wine or liquor all contain roughly the same amount of pure alcohol. A standard drink is typically defined as 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine or 1.5 ounces of liquor. So, whether you're sipping on a light beer or a shot of tequila, if you're consuming the same amount of alcohol, the effect on your body is going to be very similar. The misconception that beer is healthier might stem from the fact that people tend to drink beer more slowly and in larger quantities. But remember, it's all about the total amount of alcohol consumed. Don't be fooled by the marketing or the common misconceptions. Pay attention to the alcohol content and your consumption habits. It's also important to consider the other ingredients in your drink. Beer, for instance, often contains more carbohydrates and calories compared to a shot of liquor. This can contribute to weight gain if consumed in large quantities. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle involves more than just monitoring your alcohol intake. Regular exercise and a balanced diet are crucial. Pairing your drinking habits with healthy eating can make a significant difference in your overall well-being. Social drinking can be enjoyable and part of a balanced lifestyle, but it's essential to be mindful of how much you're consuming. When you're out with friends, try to pace yourself and opt for drinks with lower alcohol content if you plan to have multiple. And don't forget, there are plenty of non-alcoholic options that can be just as satisfying. Staying hydrated is key, especially if you're consuming alcohol. Drinking water in between alcoholic beverages can help you stay in control and reduce the risk of overconsumption. Setting reminders to drink water can be a helpful strategy to ensure you're staying hydrated throughout the night. Remember, the goal is to enjoy yourself responsibly. Whether you prefer beer, wine or liquor, moderation is the key to maintaining a healthy relationship with alcohol. So next time you hear someone say that beer is healthier than liquor, you'll know the truth. It's not about the type of drink, but how much you consume and how you balance it with a healthy lifestyle. Thanks for watching and remember to drink responsibly. Now let's move on to a myth that's gained a lot of attention over the years. Red wine is good for your heart. We've all heard about the potential benefits of resveratrol, an antioxidant found in red wine. And while it's true that resveratrol has shown some promising results in laboratory settings, the evidence supporting its heart health benefits in humans is far from conclusive. Here's the thing, the amount of resveratrol you'd need to consume to reap any potential benefits is far greater than what you'd get from a glass or two of red wine. Plus, let's not forget that alcohol in general can have negative effects on your cardiovascular health, especially in excess. Using the potential benefits of resveratrol as a justification for regular alcohol consumption can be misleading and potentially harmful. Remember, moderation is key. If you enjoy a glass of red wine occasionally, go for it but don't rely on it as a health strategy. 
Let's debunk a dangerous myth that's often perpetuated. You can sober up quickly with coffee or a cold shower. We've all been there, right? You're out with friends, having a great time, and the drinks are flowing. The night is young and everyone is enjoying themselves. But then it's the end of the night and you're trying to find a quick fix to sober up before driving home. You look at your watch and realize it's getting late. The thought crosses your mind. Maybe a cup of coffee or a cold shower will do the trick. But here's the hard truth. The only way to truly sober up is through time. No matter how much you wish it were different, the clock is your only ally in this situation. Your liver is responsible for metabolizing alcohol. And this process simply cannot be rushed, no matter how much coffee you drink or how cold the shower is. The liver works at its own pace, breaking down alcohol at a constant rate. Coffee might make you feel more alert, but it won't lower your blood alcohol content. The caffeine may give you a temporary boost in energy, but it doesn't change the amount of alcohol in your system. Similarly, a cold shower might shock your system, but it won't speed up the rate at which your body processes alcohol. The cold water might wake you up, but it won't make you any less intoxicated. Believing in these myths can have serious consequences. You might think you're okay to drive, but your judgment is still impaired. This false sense of security can lead to dangerous decisions. It can lead to impaired judgment and an increased risk of accidents. Driving under the influence is not only illegal, but also incredibly dangerous for you and others on the road. The key takeaway here is to plan ahead. If you know you'll be drinking, make arrangements in advance. Think about how you'll get home safely before you even start your night. If you're going to be drinking, designate a driver, use a ride-sharing service, or arrange for alternative transportation. These options ensure that you and your friends can enjoy the night without worrying about how to get home, or arrange for alternative transportation. Remember, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Taking a few extra minutes to plan can make all the difference in keeping everyone safe. So next time you're out, enjoy yourself, but keep these tips in mind. Your future self will thank you for making responsible choices. And you'll wake up the next day feeling good about the decisions you made. After all, a good night out should end with everyone getting home safely. Stay safe, plan ahead, and remember, time is the only true way to sober up. Let's talk about a myth that's particularly relevant for those of us who are health conscious. Alcohol doesn't impact your fitness goals. Now you might have heard that moderate drinking won't sabotage your workouts and you might be tempted to believe it. But here's the reality, alcohol can interfere with muscle recovery, hydration, and even your motivation to exercise. When you consume alcohol, your body prioritizes its breakdown over other important processes, including muscle repair and growth. Alcohol can also dehydrate you, which is detrimental to your workouts and overall recovery. And let's not forget about the impact on motivation. Alcohol can disrupt your sleep patterns, leaving you feeling sluggish and less likely to hit the gym. Even moderate drinking can hinder your progress, especially if you're serious about optimizing your fitness results. Finally, let's address a myth that's often accepted as a fact of life. Hangovers are just a normal part of drinking. We've all been there waking up after a night of drinking with a pounding headache, nausea and fatigue. But here's the thing, hangovers are not a badge of honor or a normal consequence of drinking. They're actually a sign that you've poisoned your body with a toxic substance. When you drink alcohol, your body goes through a series of processes to break it down. Hangovers are essentially a collection of unpleasant symptoms caused by the toxic byproducts of alcohol metabolism. Instead of brushing off hangovers as normal, try to listen to your body's signals. They're telling you that you've overindulged and that your body needs time to recover. I remember when a close friend of mine thought they could offset the effects of heavy drinking with energy drinks. They believed that the caffeine would counteract the alcohol, allowing them to stay alert and continue partying without any negative consequences. It seemed like a clever trick at the time, a way to keep the fun going without feeling the drag of alcohol. It seemed harmless at the time, just a way to keep the party going. Everyone was having a great time, dancing, laughing and enjoying the night. The energy drinks were flowing just as freely as the alcohol, and no one seemed to think twice about the potential risks. It was all about living in the moment and making the most of the night but it led to a dangerous situation. 
and they ended up in the hospital with alcohol poisoning. The combination of alcohol and caffeine masked the symptoms of intoxication, leading them to drink far more than they realized. By the time we noticed something was wrong, it was too late. The ambulance had to be called and the night took a terrifying turn. That experience was a wake-up call for all of us, a stark reminder that these myths have real-world consequences. We spent hours in the hospital waiting room, reflecting on what had happened and how easily it could have been avoided. It was a sobering moment, one that made us all reconsider our attitudes towards drinking and the myths we had taken for granted. It's easy to fall prey to these myths, especially in a world saturated with social media trends and cultural norms that often glorify drinking. Everywhere you look, there are influencers and advertisements promoting the idea that drinking is glamorous and fun without acknowledging the potential dangers. It's no wonder that so many people, especially young adults, are misled. But it's our responsibility to be critical thinkers, to question what we hear and to seek out credible information. Remember, moderation is key. We need to educate ourselves and others about the realities of alcohol consumption and not just rely on what we see online or hear from friends. It's about making informed choices and understanding the impact of our actions. If you choose to drink, do so responsibly and be mindful of your limits. Know your own tolerance and listen to your body. It's okay to say no and to take breaks. Drinking should never be about peer pressure or trying to fit in. It's about enjoying yourself in a safe and healthy way. There are plenty of resources available to help you make informed decisions about alcohol. From online articles and health websites to brochures and pamphlets, there's a wealth of information out there. Take the time to educate yourself and stay informed. Knowledge is power and it can help you make better choices. Don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare professional if you have any concerns or questions. Doctors, counsellors and other healthcare providers are there to help you. They can provide personalised advice and support and help you navigate any challenges you may face with alcohol. It's important to seek help if you need it and not to feel ashamed or embarrassed. Now that we've debunked some of the most common alcohol myths, it's time to rethink how we approach drinking. Let's start conversations with our friends and family about the realities of alcohol. Share what you've learned and encourage others to be mindful of their drinking habits. It, it's about creating a culture of awareness and responsibility. Whether you're a casual drinker or looking to improve your health, understanding the truth behind alcohol is crucial. It's not just about avoiding the dangers, but also about making positive choices that support your overall well-being. Consider how alcohol fits into your lifestyle and what changes you might need to make to stay healthy. So let's continue this conversation. Drop a comment below with the myths you've heard or share your personal experiences. Your stories and insights can help others learn and grow. Let's build a community where we can support each other and promote healthy, informed choices. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more myth-busting content, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Your engagement helps us reach more people and spread important information. Together, we can make a difference. Remember, making informed choices is key to living a healthier and safer life. Take control of your drinking habits, stay educated, and always prioritize your well-being. Thank you for watching, and take care.